It was probably uh, my dad. Uh, my dad was very hard working and when we were little we had quite a lot of problems uh, at home and stuff like that and he used to kind of work hard and show me if you work hard you can get on with things in life and uh, his motto was always uh, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. There's nothing worse than turning up somewhere for a presentation or whatever and not being prepared. It would be uh, Andy Walters who was my uh, violin teacher. He was the first one who kind of um, brought, brought up my confidence when it came to music and stuff and uh, music theory and playing violin and stuff and having more understanding of, of music and uh, he also put me in touch with the um, first uh, producer I worked with and I um, recorded my first demo with him so that kind of was the point at which um, I started to get gigs and that was when it all started to kick off really with my career and stuff. It sounds really corny but I think my best role model when I was growing up uh, was my family, particularly my mum. It's something I, I've always been aware of, is how supportive my family were, particularly as uh, nobody had ever gone into the music industry before, but my mother's advice to me as a boy was always, there's no such word as can't, and uh, that just gave me a, a belief that whatever I could put my hand to, as long as I give it 100%, uh, that anything was possible really. So uh, yeah, I will always thank Mam for, uh, for that bit of advice. When I was in school, my role model was my brother. He's six years older than me and he worked hard and did well at school. I remember going to visit him in university and seeing him having so much fun and making lots of new friends. I knew then that I wanted to be like him and also go to university. But the best advice came from my parents, of course. They always told me the harder I worked at school, the more career choices that would be open to me when I got older. And they were right. I worked in an investment bank in London before I moved home, trained as a journalist, and then got the opportunity to present the weather. I wouldn't really say there was uh, one specific role model, to be honest with you. It was uh, you know, a mixture of everyone, sort of the teachers you were closest to in school, they used to sort of, you know, give you good advice and just help you out throughout, you know, starting year seven, you're really young and by the time you leave comp, it's, uh, you know, you're 18, so it's a long process of, you know, knowing those people, but, you know, the best advice I think I had was just give everything 100% and, uh, you know, give it all and everything you do. 